Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and it's another gloomy day on Survival Fountain of Youth. Today, I'm going to be a survival expert once again and not try and die uh, within the start of the demo. Uh, so, yeah, I actually contacted the developers asking how far into the demo I got. They said about 10 to 15% because I'm that much of a freaking expert. So, yes, I thought it'd be fun to do another one and actually try and get a little further into this game. I'm seeing we have some delicious coconuts here, so that's a good start. I need a cutter to harvest so I can cut down and get a green coconut. I don't have an axe for that. I need... Okay, I guess that's realistic. So I'm assuming they're attached too strongly to simply just climb and grab them. Can I climb? Oh, man. I'm already having problems. That's a bad start. So I got to go find my cutter again. If you missed the last episode, you should go watch it, by the way. It's great. I met all the wonderful wildlife that totally didn't try and kill me, as in they did actually kill me. The, the only things that are nice in this game are the things that don't like me, the crabs. Also, a lot of you are making fun of me, saying that I thought these things were squirrels. Wait, is this? I thought this was one of them. <laughs> I thought that was... Uh, but yeah, these are, I think, honey badgers. I don't want to get too close because he will beat me up. So yes, I'm sorry I called them squirrels. They're definitely honey badgers. But you know who definitely is a squirrel? This guy. And I'm here to talk to you about this video's sponsor, Manscaped. You haven't heard of Manscaped before? Well, they obsessively engineer groin and body trimmers. Great example of that is from my personal favorite of their products, which is the Lawn Mower 4.0. This hair hunter uses advanced ceramic blades with skin safe technology to help reduce bumps and cuts. You get 90 minutes on a full charge and that's pretty impressive impressive considering it's got a light on it. Even the charging base is smart. You don't need to connect this thing to anything. You simply put it in its dock and next time you're ready to trim, it's good to go. It's even waterproof. So if you do like trimming in the shower, well, you don't have to worry about electrocuting yourself, which is pretty important in my opinion. If that wasn't enough, this even has a travel lock feature. Yes, the 4.0, if you press the button three times, You'll see the lights at the bottom go up and down and you cannot turn it on until you press it three times again. Close shave, not your thing. That's fine because this has trimmer guards that you can put on. It has four different sizes. And if you even want to go smoother than a trimmer, well, Manscaped now has you covered with the Ultra Smooth Package. This is their newest thing. And this is a three-step shaving system to help you buff, protect, and smooth your most sensitive of areas. So this is pretty simple. Jump into the shower, apply this to where you plan on shaving and scrub like you're getting lucky for the first time and that's going to help with ingrown hairs during the shaving process next step we have the crop gel apply this as well to the shaved area it's a clear liquid so you can actually see what you're doing when you're shaving and then we go on to the main man himself the crop shaver in this nice little travel case as well i like this and it's also got a pivoting head most razors are not designed for the groin region this one definitely is and this thing is awesome. So if this sounds interesting to you, well, join the 6 million men who have already trusted Manscaped with their shaving needs. Get the right tools for your family jewels. Also, if you are thinking about purchasing anything, I have a 20% off coupon. If you use code DRE at manscaped.com, you get 20% off and free shipping. So have a browse. They have lots of awesome products and they've been supporting the channel for a long time. So I want to thank them for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna call Scorpion Hell my home for the time being because I'm way too lazy to make a shelter. We have a fire here. We kind of have to do this right now anyways. So we're not gonna go that way because last time I went that way, I walked out of this place with, with about 15 scorpions on my body. Um, so yeah, I don't want to screw with that. I'm just gonna go over here for the time being and see if I can collect some stuff so we can actually get like a base going on. All right, I need to get a fishing spear. We got a sea bass right here. Can I eat you? What? I'm gonna beat you up, man. I'll beat you up. Is this how you survive? Your stamina's depleted and you're... I'm drowning? How am I freaking drowning right now? I thought I was fine. Oh, God. What? No. I'm, 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 out, I'm out of the water game. What the hell? Oh. Well, that's convenient. A fishing stand. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad I came here. So that's what those fish are. I'm not supposed to punch the fish. I'm supposed to catch them with the fishing rod that I grabbed. I thought that thing was freaking pointless. Okay, well, here we are at our first actual fishing station. So I'm going to start fishing. Do I have to wait here? Uh, select rod. Yes. Oh, I need bait. What if I just have a hook in there? I'm just going to try. I what, what friggin' bait do I need? All right, so I'm just going to leave that here. And when we find worms or something else, I'll continuously try things until we can figure out how the hell to fish. I am seeing we have a terror bird in the sky. I do have to worry about those guys, so... Uh, I do not want to be attacked again, because that's what actually killed me in my first episode. Is he looking at me? Oh god, I hear him. It just squawked. 
Oh god, I didn't see the other one. Oh, freak off. I just want to see what's over here. All right, I think I should mo probably make a spear before I come this way. Oh, my God. Oh, well, they're obviously going to outrun me. They're freaking flying. Screw off. That's right. Hit the freaking stone, you idiot. I didn't like the honey badgers, but you are literally the worst. You are the worst. I'm going to die. <laughs> you know what? Just kill me. Just kill me. At this point, it'd be easier. Please kill me. Please kill me. Thank you. Five faintings before death. I forgot that was a thing. I thought we just started with a whole new life, but no, you get faintings in this game. Uh, so my max health is reduced. Fantastic. Well, I thought the uh, coastline would be the safe option. Clearly, just everywhere is dangerous in this game. So I am going to try and equip myself now. And we have to go inland because I need to get uh, a spear. I really do just need a spear at this point. So we got a stone cutter at least. I couldn't get the I could get the wooden club. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually do that. Why didn't I think of that before? Oh, we have sun issues as well. I wanted to build the hat, so we'll grab some palm leaves for that. Okay, well, I was able to make a cape. That's exciting. I feel like uh, the saddest superhero ever, but uh, that should help with sun protection. I need wide leaves for the rest of it. Um, I don't want to do that because that's going to take time. I do not want to waste my daylight, so I want to actually get out here. Is that the tree I need right there? If that's the tree I need right here, I'm going to be so freaking mad that it was so close. Uh, nope, that is definitely not the tree I need. I can't even use it. There's got to be some of these long trees. Oh, ah! oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, I can't move in this game without freaking out. Freaking honey, bro. Freaking kill you. Jerk. Screw off. He's laughing at me. God, I went two seconds into the wilderness, and that's what happens. All right, we're going to go really slow. It looks like there's lots of good stuff around. Oh, I just heard a freaking snake. Dude, I... I can't explore in this game. Like, it is just packed with deadly predators. But yeah, I'm going to need to heal my wounds at this point. So let's not risk dying again. Because then I just have less health. Okay, so I got to make a fire starter. Let's get a, a fire started. Um, primitive ship repair. I thought that was the fire starter. Oh, it's right here. Single fire starter. Perfect. I'm going to need to craft that. Inventory is full. Shut up. But yeah, I need to make some bandages. So I know we need a fire for that. So, and we can obviously cook some of our food as well. So, all right. So unfortunately I do need Tinder for that. I thought I had mushroom Tinder. Um, I might've died with that. Is it somewhere in here? I just need, wait, is that it? No, that's just, that's whatever this stuff is. Oh, it is Tinder. <laughs> I already had one in my inventory. I thought, I guess I didn't. Okay. Well that, that works out. Okay, 40 minutes to make fire, but I guess that makes sense. And now hopefully we can craft some of these leaves, these steam leaf bandages. I need, oh my God, I need wide leaves for that? I don't think I have any. Oh yes, I do. I don't even know wh where these came from, but we're gonna use them. I think they came in here when I found this place. All right, so we're gonna craft one of those. Takes 20 minutes to make one freaking bandage. And we can probably craft one more just for the old inventory. Would like to cook up my short-eared dog if that's possible. There we go. Roasted short-eared dog. 40 minutes. Oh, that feels good. Okay, now we have some good food. It even has a little bit of water. We can get indigestion from it. <laughs> Again, the detail of this is great. Uh, should I eat that right now? No, probably not. But I definitely want to use one of these bandages. So there we go. Did that heal me? Oh, is that just for cuts? I, pro I should probably read things. For all types of wounds, minor cuts, n normal wounds, severe wounds, infected wounds, also temporary protects from disease progression. Okay, so it's probably good that we had that, but it's not healing like I thought it would. Okay, so there's this mapping process where we can find resources. This might come in handy. I did see that we can actually make mapping charcoal on this if we get a small stick. Now, I used, I think, all my small sticks as uh, tinder. So if I can find a small stick, we might be able to start mapping this uh, island and uh, it wouldn't be so hard to find the freaking long stick that I need for this one spear. Oh, great. Yeah, of course. The moment I go outside, man, the moment I go outside, I start to get soaked. Dude, like my luck is insane. All right, there we go. Starting area has sticks in it. At least we have that. Stones are hard to come by, though. All right, well, no stones, but I got this stick that I need so we can start mapping this place. So let's make that real quick. So yeah, it says uh, mapping tool, get to high ground, open the mapping tab and use this tool. So we have to get to high ground to use this. I want to see how informative this can possibly be though. So it did, it did look like we, he we healed a bit. 
uh, via sleeping. So that's good to know. I was curious how we're going to heal. That seems to be the case. Thankfully, food is not a big worry in this game. So we have lots of food at the base, but we'll eat uh, tonight. Right now, I'm just trying to advance a little bit. So if I can map this place, that would be immensely helpful. But that means I have to go to high ground. I don't think we're climbing that today, but I'm thinking there's that pride rock thing over there. We might be able to get some intel there. I have no idea how high I'm going to need to be. Oh, stone pile. Oh my God, stone pile. Oh, if I would have known that, that was a thing. That would have made my life way easier. So we got lots of stones now. That means when I find a stick again, uh, I can actually make axe. Oh, frig off, frig off. I will kill you. Please just go away, please. I don't want to fight, man. I don't want to fight. Oh, I almost killed myself. Man, I just healed up to the point where I was comfortable again. And now the first time I go into the into the wild, once again, I'm attacked by a honey badger or whatever the hell they are. Can I please climb this? Perfect. All right. If this isn't mappable territory, I don't know what to tell you because I can see. What the hell was that? There was a shine over. What is that? Oh, now I, now I, now I want to go look. Wait, is that, is, is that my dead body? All right, so mapping's here. I got it. All right, uh, current altitude 43, so it looks like I can go anywhere. Of course, it's storming out again. Oh, that is so freaking cool. And would you look at that? It worked out, man. It actually worked out. There's a long stick this way. And once again, another freaking storm. Can I please have a clear day? I really want to go see what that little shimmer was over here, though. And the shimmer that I seen from so far away is a freaking head. I did not expect that. What the hell? So it looks like I did all that for a little bit of lore. Um, something about the cancel of four tribes. Gotta be honest, didn't really pay much attention. I feel like if there's a giant head here, though, there might be loot. This is probably not the best day to be exploring, but I don't really have a choice. There's gotta be something up here. I'm just gonna keep going up. Maybe I can remap this area from, from this high. Oh yeah, this is good. So this is some sort of temple, it's looking like. Um, wow, it just keeps going and going. Stone deposit here. Getting a little bit of lag. Just want to see. Does this go to the top of the mountain? It probably does. I might regret doing this because I have to go down and I'm also getting pretty hungry. What the hell was that? Oh, why am I so bad at survival? Oh, I'm dead, man. I'm dead. All right, so before I die, let's uh, see if we can chart this area. All right, there we go. Uh, does it not save? Oh my god, look at that. Look at this. This is freaking beautiful. I think I survived the attack from the snake, so that's okay. I don't think I want to go any higher. I think I got enough information here. I mean, this is the whole freaking... Well, it's not the whole island, but it's a lot of good information that I need. But yeah, you can kind of see the size difference in terms of altitude. So that was my first one. This is my second one. This is such a cool feature. All right, now I got to somehow get down this without dying. All right, well, finally a day where I feel like I got some decent progression. We got a crap load of intel, and that's going to come seriously in handy. Uh, but yeah, there's just so much to this map. Uh, anyways, I'm going to sleep because I have a lot of issues right now. So hopefully just sleeping it off will help. Let's just try that. That's not my bed. That would just be some leaves. <laughs> so I'll have a nice eight hours sleep. And well, you definitely didn't heal much, but that's okay. Well, survival doesn't take breaks. We have to go. I think I've only saw on here. There's one long stick, of course, as you can see, right by the wonderful short-eared dog. All right, please don't be here. I just need a long stick. I just need a long stick. <laughs> Harvest. Oh, I need an axe. Okay, that's okay. I should have made an axe when I was at home. I don't have any sticks right now, uh, and I need one for the handle, obviously. So let's go grab a stick, uh, go home, because we're not going to find any stones around here. Stones don't exist in nature, uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll make an axe and come back. At least we know where to go. I can't, it's so easy. Like, how did I not see that freaking tree? Ah, uh, at least we found a, that's not a stick that I can grab. I was going to say, at least we found a stick easily, but nothing's easy. Never mind. I'm not going to complain anymore. Oh my God. Yes. Well, I guess we don't need to go home. Look at that. We, 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 we even made an axe today. We are moving up in the world. Crazy dog still not home. Finally... Select resources to gather. Harvest all. Harvest. There we go. One hour. There we go. I did it. All right. I am going to play it safe. Uh, we're not going to do much today because I would like to heal up a bit. And we are going to craft this wooden spear. At least we can do that. Oh, we can get a wooden harpoon as well. Oh, perfect. This is this changes everything. That's all I needed. 
reach the small island. Okay, so that's, I guess that's all we need to reach a freaking small island. Which isn't even on my map, but I know it's like somewhere over there. All right, so looking at ships, though, we can make a raft if we get this item, the Lania rope. I think I saw that on my map. Um, let's actually see if I can find that again. It's probably far away. Oh, yeah, right here, Lania. Um, actually doesn't look too dangerous to get to that. Again, I don't know if I want to risk it today, but at least we know where that is. So we should be able to make a raft. I feel like if I'm going to an island... Raft might be smart, but the game says we don't need that. We just need a spear. That's that's all you need in life. So this can also be thrown. So I do have a ranged weapon. Speaking of that, I've been wanting to kill you guys for a while. Goodbye, sir. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought it was going to attack me. I thought it was actually going to attack me. Jesus Christ. Oh great. My, my stuffy nose has turned into a major problem. Uh, it's telling me I need... Is that a poppy flower? And uh. A wide leaf to fix this? Oh, come on. I thought I was just going to be able to sleep it off. Why is everything such a problem in this game? <laughs> All right, well, I'm not seeing any sort of herb like that on the map. So I'm just going to hope for the best that we somehow sleep. We're definitely not sleeping this off. It's red now. I'm poisoned. Um, how did I get poisoning? All right, well, I'm, I'm a gambling man. I have a 40% chance of recovery and a 30% chance of worsening. Where the other 30% is, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to take the 40% chance of recovery. I, I think I just got to sleep right now. I've had a rough, well, five days. All right, so it does say I'm less than 60 water, so that's not good. Well, we got a couple coconuts left. Let's maybe eat that. All right, so now we should be, yeah, we are over 60, so that should make us a little happier. We're only poisoned now, so that's not a very big deal. I'm going to have a nice long sleep until morning time just to try and heal up and hopefully we can uh outlive this poison that i have going on 14 hours sleeps and it's raining great fantastic i did not heal at all ah what the frick was that what the where did you come from oh come on i'm already freaking poisoned i was just trying to make food oh once again i'm poisoned again oh i have natural recovery now that's exciting great but i'm now down to 18 health do I, the question is, do I risk going out to get that Lania, which is in the middle of nowhere, as you can see? Mind you, there's not enemies around. I mean, there's a short-eared dog here. It probably would be right there if we saw it. So I'm going to have a little four-hour sleep, see if that heals me at all. Oh, thank God. All right. So one good thing, I waited out the storm, so that's good. Uh, I only have 18 health, though, so I really can't screw up this run here. I really need this lashing, though. Oh, yes. Okay, uh, harvest. Yeah, let's get all of them. I don't know how many we're going to need, but that is what I needed. It doesn't actually look that scary. Is there anything else around here that I could get? Biscuits, tobacco. It's kind of nice here. Okay, so we got the goods. I just need the narrow leaf for the blueprint. I probably need to drop something because this game doesn't like it when I have no inventory space. So we'll craft that 30 minutes later. We now have everything that we need, at least unlocked, to make the raft. So I need one more lashing. Two long sticks got that. I actually might be able to build this. I haven't tried to chop down a palm tree. I don't know how hard that is, but I have two long sticks I saved. I was going to make a harpoon. Glad I didn't. And yeah, we're going to cut this down for an hour. Perfect. Uh, Put on shoulder. There we go. I don't know. Should I just keep it out here? Yeah, let's just keep it out here. I think we need two of those, right? Yeah, we need two common logs. That's a common log? Yeah, perfect. Okay, we'll get one more here. This tree's probably a lot harder to cut down. Yeah, let's get a nice easy tree. There we go. Insufficient tool durability. You you lasted one tree on me. Oh my god, this game. Uh, how do I repair? R, repair. I need... What the hell is this? Oh, I need a stone. Okay, I have some of those. All right, there we go. So we'll repair... Because this thing only lasts one tree. Dude, this is the realest survival game. Like an axe lasting one log is kind of insane, but I kind of love it. All right, let's try this again. Wait. Okay, yeah, if I cut it down, it will not grow back. I thought I said I couldn't cut it. I am cutting it, damn it. Okay, so we have the two logs. All right, so now I can place the blueprint. So it kind of works like the forest where you place things. I'm thinking, yeah, we got to have it kind of deep out there. It's actually a big raft. I didn't expect it to be so big. And now we just bring over all the resources that we need. What the hell? Am I, am I so exhausted that I can't move with that? Oh my god, I didn't realize that. Uh, holding a heavy object uses my stamina. 
All right, and a day later, somehow I'm still alive, and I think we have everything that we need to place all resources. Nine hours? Are you are you serious? Well, I guess we are building a raft after all, and there we go. Oh, I did something today. That's exciting. Uh, we can even fish on this. Oh, that's dope as hell. So I have a movable survival shelter. I even have a bed of leaves in it right now, so I guess that's why I needed the leaves. How does this thing work? Do I just... Oh, do I actually have to paddle? Wait, do I need a sail? Oh, don't tell... Okay, no, we are good. I don't know how we're moving forward. I don't know if we're paddling or what. I'm going to stop navigating. Uh, Because I think we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. We have everything we need to make it to the island now. When I can deal with my vitals, of course. Because right now we are low on food. We're low on health. We're low on everything. But you know what? Spirits are up. We have mapped out a little bit of this wonderful island. A AKA very dangerous island. We now have our first mode of aquatic transportation. That's what a raft is called. And yeah, I have to say I am loving every second of this game. Obviously, I came into this game knowing nothing about it. And I just love the survival elements in this game. I never feel safe. And that is a good survival game in my books. Speaking of that, my hand's on fire right now. Why is my hand on fire? Oh, I have a burn. Okay, great. Let's go inside then. Oh, never a dull moment, man. So yeah, hopefully in the next episode, I can deal with uh, my issues right now. Because uh, I don't think we want to be on the ocean with uh, burns and everything. Especially with this low health. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can make it to the island, figure out what's going on there, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Once again, this is the Survival Fountain of Youth, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.